Sime Reader, Crow Song, and today I will be reading to you from Rival Schools by Kate. Now, on to Chapter 7, How Rumors Start. America hesitated, staring at the door in front of him. He was invited over to provide company to his very close friend, as he so called it to his father, so he could leave. America was told his sister would probably answer the door, as she loved to do so. So, with the worry of a tall, terrifying man staring at him, he knocked twice. He heard the pitter-patter of small feet run at the door, a small laugh coming closer. The door opened, and there stood a little girl, staring at America. Hey, I'm here for your brother, he said calmly, crouching down to her level. Here, I brought you some candy, he added, handing her a bag of gummies he'd managed to grab on his way over. She quickly took the candy with a big smile, immediately giving America a big hug afterward. He laughed and hugged her back, picking her up so he could carry her inside. He set her down and she ran off laughing loudly as she did so. America watched her run to her dad, who sat on an armchair, and hand them to him, before sticking her hands back out. How many do you want? The man asked, setting the book down and opening the package. Three! She happily replied. Obviously, she meant three, but she's still a child. The dad handed her three candies, and she took them and ran off upstairs, him setting the bag aside. America quickly took off his shoes and stood back up. You must be here for Russia. He's upstairs, first door on the left. Thank you, America said, going up the stairs. The door on the left was left wide open, so America peeked in to see the little girl sitting with Rush on his bed. She was saying something, but America couldn't make it out. He knocked on the door frame and walked in, seeming unsure of what to do. That man gave me candy! The little girl immediately chimed, following it up with a laugh. Hey, America, Russia said rather calmly. Come sit down next to Bella. America walked over slowly and sat down, sitting near Russia's foot and cautious of hurting him. Russia pat America on the shoulder in an attempt to reassure him, but the little girl distracted them. She jumped off the bed and quickly turned around. I'm Belarus. You are Mary, my brother. That. Russia awkwardly laughed while America struggled to hold in his laughter. It was so unexpected to America that he was about to say yes, but he had to think about it. Not yet. Maybe. He responded. There's a long process first. It sucks. America made it seem like he was on Belarus's side, which would have been okay if she didn't have a look of I'm telling Dad, followed by her running out of the room and also the door shutting. Ha, <laughs> poor Papa, he has to deal with her now. Russia chuckled, laying down to look at America, a charming smile on his face. Thank you for coming, it was pretty lonely. Ah, it's fine, I had to get out of the house somehow. Because I kind of got grounded for cursing out a teacher and getting them fired. America responded, rubbing the back of his neck. Your dad seems nice. Dad is always nice. He's the reason everyone tries to get me or my other sister as their partner for projects so that they can come over and benefit off of him. He's maybe too nice. He can't see people taking advantage of him. Lucky ass, America mumbled, laying down next to Russia. Russia laughed and pulled America onto him, ruffling his hair. America stifled his laughter by pushing his face into Russia's neck. 
trying his best to resist laughing. America adored love like this, love that makes him laugh, especially when they don't stop and just continue what they're doing because America is laughing, which is exactly what Russia was doing. They might have been dating for two days now, and only actually been with each other once before that, but they had already formed a tight bond. America pulled himself away from Russia and rested his head on his chest, since he was short enough to do that, grabbing one of Russia's hands with his own. Russia responded by setting his other hand on America's back, whispering something in his native language. That moment was immediately ruined by the sound of multiple footsteps and female voices coming up the stairs. America shot up and sat on the other side of the bed, pulling his phone out. The door opened and a girl stuck her head in, as if to tell Russia something. I've got two friends coming over. I'm helping them on an essay, Russ. Immediately, a girl pushed the sister to the side and burst in, saying hi to Russia. She spotted America, but he was wearing his letterman jacket, so quite quickly she found out what school he went to, and she was pissed. You're the dumb school who nearly killed Russia! She screamed, the other girl now stepping in and joining in the harassment. No, no! Russia quickly jumped in. He is a good friend and graduated from St. Victoria last year. It's his cousin's jacket. Yeah, he left it at my place, so I decided to wear it, because we are around the same size and share a lot of clothes. America awkwardly added in. His parents are family friends. They are nothing to worry about. The sister said, trying to shoo the two out of the room. Once the two were out, the sister apologized and immediately shut the door, leading the two girls back downstairs by the sound of their voices. Damn you, Queen. Russia mumbled. America decided that the girls would probably stay downstairs and crawled back onto Russia, this time laying his head in Russia's neck. Russia wrapped his arms tightly around America, apologizing about the lie they made up on the spot and putting the pressure on him. America didn't care. He was just relieved he didn't get dragged out of the house and beat up by a bunch of Christians. He wanted sleep, and he'd get it whether his parents would like him to stay over or not. Which they didn't. Russia decided he'd be the bigger man, and he kissed America's forehead, sending butterflies into America's stomach. He slid off Russia and slowly laid next to him, still keeping his head next to Russia's neck. You're going to take a nap, huh? What happened to my need for company? Russia joked. You can sleep with me, he muttered in response. You did before. Yeah, but it was at night, and after you sucked me off. What if I let you fuck me? Will you sleep then? I'll sleep now, Russia chuckled, kissing America's forehead once again, just this time longer. America stretched himself closer to Russia, basically asking for another kiss. That wish was promptly granted. Love you, America mumbled. Once America had fallen asleep, Russia's dad walked up to check on them, and immediately brought another blanket for America. It was a large quilt, so it was impossible for America to be cold now. And that's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, I'd like to invite you to join the Discord, which is linked down in the description below. That being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow.